In this episode of Marina Queen, I transit out of the marina to test the autopilot and do some sailing. I also start the process of relocating the chain stopper to the starboard side of the bowsprit. And I take a moment for myself in the V-berth. My name is Rick. Join me as I refit sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. I get to spend only a few days each month on the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. Well, I just got underway from the marina. I'm motoring right now and I'm testing the autopilot. I started out on a course of 242. The autopilot held that pretty good. Went up to 252, made the course adjustment, no problem. So I'm feeling pretty good about the autopilot. Got my PFD with my six foot tether to the jack lines. You gotta have that signal horn ready to blast some communication signals. So I got the boat underway yesterday for a little over four hours maybe. I saw gusts on the anemometer at 21 knots and that wasn't the biggest gust. The bigger gust, I wasn't staring at the anemometer. I was trying to keep the boat sailing. Well, these are the wind speed forecasts from Predict Wind on the day of the sail for each hour from 9 a.m. to 1300. And I would say they're accurate. I think the big takeaway from the sail for me was these are averages. You've got to go into it knowing you're going to see gusts of at least five knots more than that. So yesterday, one of the things I did do was I removed this from the bowsprit. This is a chain stopper. The windlass would be here, the anchor would be here. When you're paying out from the windlass, you'd flip this over. And then this just becomes a fair lead for the chain. What's cool about these chain stoppers is once you get the anchor home in its position on the bow, then what you do is you take this and you flip it over. 
and this edge right here catches on a link of the chain. This is where the chain stopper used to be. And the chain used to be fed through there. And then it had that cheesy bow roller that Rockna 15 up there. And you can see how badly it's mounted right now. No stopper, nothing. I want to see what the size these holes are. Oh yeah, those have to be drilled out. They're not quite three eighths. This is normally where I would mix up some of that penetrating epoxy, pour it in those holes, cap it off with the plugs, sand it down, put some varnish on it. And this is essentially the same except that that chain stopper was affixed to the deck with one screw and three bolts. So three of those holes go all the way through into the chain locker. So if I just pour the penetrating epoxy down those holes, it'll just get all over the chain and be a big mess. What? So what I need to do is plug those holes first. And for that, I've got some epoxy putty stick. So apparently I just cut off what I need and I, and I knead it up like dough in my fingers. After mixing, the green putty stick turns white. And when it turns white, you have five to seven minutes work time to complete the repair. And within 30 minutes, the repair cures hard with one hour, it can be sanded. So really once I do this, an hour later, I'm pouring that epoxy and we're finishing that bowsprit. So cool. So that's kind of cool. Comes in a tube that has a, a seal on it. So it does appear they're gonna make me destroy the container. So with that in mind, what I think I'm gonna do is try to cut it in the container like this. Let's see what that does. <laughs> it's going to crack, I think. I don't think it's going to work. Well, it might have. No. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty great. Oh, yeah. Once it becomes white, they say. So I'm going to start kneading this baby. Knead it. Once you get it to where it's white, need. So that's what you get. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in those holes. And my fingers are all nasty, so you're not gonna get any video of this. However, I'll show it to you when I'm done. Well, that's a chain locker. And if we move in, you can see those holes. Those were the holes where the chain stopper was mounted through there. So the penetrating epoxy now comes with this container. So I'm gonna try it out. give that a few hours to cure, and then sand it down and put some varnish on. Ooh! Sometimes I just like listening to the, the boat creak. I hear three things right now. The creak of the boat, the animals, the birds, and the wind.
just like music. It's pretty cool. It's very peaceful. But I think it's kind of like if you go out drinking with your friends, you know, you can drink a few beers, but boy, once you break the seal, you're gonna be going to the bathroom all night. It's kind of like that with Marina Queen. Just press subscribe. Yeah! You'll be watching me every week. Yeah! 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 I'll see you next week on the boat. New episode every Sunday. I'm not as think as you confused I am.